what's going on guys it's your boy Tommy Gun here bringing you guys a class setup video these are just some of the classes that I've been using for the first week or so of Black Ops 3 I've had a lot of success with them hopefully you guys do as well when you try them out and just uh, just a fair warning a lot of these classes have um, some of the same perks um, but each class is a different weapon different attachments all that stuff so without further ado let's get right into it Alright, so starting off here with our first class, we're going to be using the VMP submachine gun. Now, I really like the VMP. It's done really well for me. It seems like it's been the most consistent submachine gun. Treyarch did say that they nerfed it a little bit today. They didn't release exactly what was nerfed, but it still seems pretty good to me. So, Alright, moving on to the attachments. I'm running the grip, rapid fire, and extended mag on the VMP. Typically, I wouldn't say you really need a grip, but with rapid fire, the recoil does get pretty crazy at times. An extended mag helps with how fast your bullets go while running rapid fire. For the perks we're running on this first class, starting off with perk 1, we're running Flak Jacket. Now that's because nades are really strong in this game, guys. Like, I've been playing a lot of Nuketown. People throw nades like it's no tomorrow. It's crazy. If you don't have Flak Jacket, you're pretty much screwed when you're running around with a sub. At least in my opinion, I died a lot before I started putting Flak Jacket on. So that's my reasoning for putting Flak Jacket on. And in perk 2, I'm running Fast Hands, perk 2 Greed, and Scavenger. Now my reason for fast hands is because I'm not running quick draw. I don't really think you need quick draw on subs in this game much. They seem to aim pretty fast just as they are. Um, but fast hands really does help with getting that first shot off in gunfights. At least for me it has. And for scavenger when you're running around with rapid fire you run out of bullets really fast guys. And I hate picking up other people's guns. So I just like to have scavenger on just so I can keep my own ammo and don't have to worry about other people's guns. Not having the right attachments and all that kind of stuff. And in perk 3, we're running tack mask. That's another grenade thing, guys. Grenades in general are just way too strong in this game. Tack mask, concussions, I think they're called in this game, or stuns, whatever you want to call it. It's way too strong. Way too strong. So tack mask is pretty much a must for me when I'm running around with the sub. And that concludes the first class. Alright, so moving on to the second class, we're using the M8A7, guys. It's just like the M8 from Black Ops 2. It's still really, really good. I'm running Elo Sight, Stock, rapid fire and quick draw on it now elo is just a way better red dot sight in my opinion it doesn't have the little top part that red dots have so you get a better field of view while you're using it which helps a ton with stock <coughs> stock isn't quite as strong as it has been in past call of duties but i think it's still pretty necessary on most ars anyway because without it you're like a snail moving basically so it doesn't help tremendously but i still think it's pretty necessary when you're using ars using rapid fire because the M8, unlike the M8 in Black Ops 2, the M8 in Black Ops 3, it has a, like a fire rate cap on it, guys. So when you throw rapid fire on it, it pretty much gets rid of that and you can just kind of spam the trigger and it'll shoot at will, which is amazing. It makes it feel more like the Black Ops 2 M8, which I loved. It's all I used in Black Ops 2. So that's why I'm running rapid fire. And for quick draw, quick draw, just really, it really helps getting that first shot off with ARs. ARs don't aim near they don't aim down nearly as fast as submachine guns do. So quick draw is pretty necessary on a lot of them when you're running around or if you're just getting in close gunfights and stuff like that. Quick draw really helps a ton. Now for the perks on this class, still running flak jacket in perk one, nothing changes there. Still the same reasons, grenades are crazy, all that stuff. For perk two, we did we took off fast hands for this one. We took off fast hands because you only have ten spots. In your class with the pick 10 system and I put quick draw in the AR so I didn't really feel like I didn't really feel like fast hands was necessary necessarily just because with the M8 you're you're running and gunning a little bit but you're you're not playing quite as crazy as you do with a submachine gun you use head glitches more of this and that so you don't have to worry about being able to shoot out of a sprint and with tack mask it's the same thing as it was in the first concussions are crazy you're that's the only way to stop them really so that's why I'm running that and another thing that's different is I'm running a nade only because I didn't have enough spots for another perk. Nades are really strong as I've mentioned plenty of times. So running a nade when you have an extra space in your class, it does help a lot. You get quite a few kills with it in my experience. And that concludes the second class. Alright, for the third and final class that I'm going to be showing you guys today, I'm using the Razorback. Now the Razorback, it got a pretty big nerf from the beta. It's not the best gun in the game anymore, but today they did buff it a little bit. I think it was more so a range buff than anything else. That's what I noticed today. I still liked it beforehand because it shoots like a laser. There's no kick on this thing at all, guys. It's still a really, really good weapon if you're not into using something like the uh, VMP. So I'm running 
grip, long barrel, extended mag, and fast mags on this. I'm running grip just because it's already pretty accurate, but you know, having grip on something never hurts if you have a spot for it. That's the way I look at it. Long barrel, it just helps increase the range. They increase the range on a little bit, it seems like today, just by itself, but long barrel helps that even more, so it does kill pretty pretty well. It, decent range is mid-range. I wouldn't try this at long range at all, guys. It's still a submachine gun. Don't get crazy with it. But long barrel does help at medium ranges. Extended mags really helps, guys, when there's multiple people, especially with something like the Razorback, where it doesn't kill in, like, it doesn't really kill in three bullets like it used to. So it takes four to five most times, I'm, I'm noticing. So, extended mag really helps when there's multiple people that you're trying to gun down at once. It really does help a lot with that. And fast mags, it just helps reloading faster, guys. When there's multiple people, you're running around like a maniac. That's really what I use this class for. Just run around like you have no brain. That's what Call of Duty's all about, right? <laughs> so, fast mags really helps with stuff like that. For the perks of running six cents. Now, six cents, it's, it's kind of a weird perk. It's never been in Call of Duty before. Um, just kind of, it's really only for people who run around and look at their mini map all the time like I do. So when I'm running around, I run past a building and I see a huge red arrow pop up on my mini map. That means there was somebody there. So I get to run back and check out where they are and stuff like that. So it really helps a lot when you're just running around and you're not really being fully aware of your surroundings. Fast hands, it's just the same. It's for running around like a madman don't have quick draw on this like I said before with subs you don't really need it on subs so quick draw just helps because I'm running around and tack mask it's the same as the other two guys concussions are crazy blah 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 you heard it before that's why I run tack mask and this is probably my least favorite of the three classes but I still think it's pretty good guys it's fun when you're not really trying to go for anything but you just want to kind of play around and have a good time that's when I like to use a class like this Alright, that's going to conclude our third and final class setup for today, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please make sure to drop a like. Comment down below what you want to see from this channel. We're going to be bringing you guys a bunch of Black Ops 3 videos in the coming weeks and months. So just let us know what type of stuff you want to see. This has been your boy Tommy Gun, and have a good day, guys.